Kate, we could use a little bit of water our way. We absolutely could use some rain, Jim. You know, we are adding cities to this record dry stretch. Philadelphia, we already hit our longest dry stretch, but as of yesterday, we've added Trenton and Wilmington to that. Uh, they've now exceeded their record dry stretch numbers. So we are seeing basically almost every spot in our region, except for the farther north zones like Allentown and Reading, which picked up a little rain a week ago. Most areas are in a record dry stretch and now the most intense dry drought we've had since 2003. We also have been talking record warmth. We got to the 80s yesterday across much of the region and broke records everywhere on our on our map here on our chart here. All of these spots set new records yesterday. Philadelphia, we hit 80 degrees. Trenton hit 80 degrees. Atlantic City, 81. Reading, 83. Allentown, 79, broke a record. Wilmington got to 81. And in Allentown, Reading, and Trenton, all three of those cities, that was the latest it's been this week warm in record keeping history. It's not often we get 80s in November. The average date of our last 80 degree day is October 7th. And here we are a month later than that, still talking about this warmth. It has now happened in Philadelphia 12 times on record. Only 12 times have we had an 80 degree day in November since records started, and that was in the 1800s. Our latest 80 degree day, and by the way, it's the same for Atlantic City and Wilmington as well, was on this date, November 15th of 1993. So if we do get an 80 degree day after November 15th, 15th, that would be the latest, but that still stands as of now. However, we've only had two other months before this month, November's, with more than one 80 degree day. That was 1974, had three days in the 80s, all early in the month, and 1950 had two 80 degree days. And before this month, our most recent 80 degree November day was all the way back in 2015. We also keep adding to this record. We're now at 39 days without rain in Philadelphia. Today will be day 40. September 28th was our last measurable rain. We have blown this record out of the water, our old record 29 days, and we're now at 39. If we do not get any sprinkles today, it looks like this will extend at least to about 43 days before we finally get the chance to end the dry streak on Sunday, looking likely that we'll at least get showers, at least enough to give us one one hundredth of an inch, which is all we need to break that dry streak record. 66 degrees right now in Philadelphia. It is incredibly warm. It also is very humid. Humid. There's not a lot of wind just yet, so we've been talking about the fire, that shotgun fire burning in Ocean County. Right now, the conditions are ideal, the best they're going to be for the next two days to get out and battle those flames because the humidity is high, clouds are in place, and we don't have a lot of wind. The wind is going to pick up later on as our cold front clears to the south. Clouds will break for sun, shower chance, or maybe just a sprinkle to the south, not much. Gusts to 20 miles an hour this afternoon, though, once the sun comes out. So we're watching this little band of showers over Kentucky. Some of these could try to clip parts of Delaware maybe later on this afternoon or this evening, but really any precipitation is very, very minimal, very limited. And then sun is back as we head into the afternoon and will be with us tomorrow. There is a secondary cold front. You can see that band of showers. This is even later tonight into the overnight. Maybe a couple of sprinkles for Delaware and parts of Maryland, but not getting far enough north to impact us. Tomorrow is a dry and windy day. Winds could gust as high as 25 miles an hour. That is going to enhance the risk for fire spread out ahead of our next system, which arrives later Sunday with finally the chance to see some rain. We also have Hurricane Rafael, Category 2 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. It's looking like it will stay over open water as it continues to weaken, but will bring windy conditions and some heavy downpours to portions of the Gulf Coast as we head into the weekend. It's not going to affect us here in Philadelphia. We've got dry conditions cooling down into the weekend. Finally, the chance to see a little bit of rain, and that would come later Sunday afternoon into the overnight hours, maybe early Monday morning before the sun returns.